Hey everyone, today I'll be going over leak code problem 1315, sum of nodes with even valued grandparents. So given a binary tree, return the sum of values of nodes with even valued grandparents. A grandparent of a node is the parent of its parent, if it exists. If there are no nodes with an even valued grandparent, return zero. So I'll go in, um, right away I'll delete their uh, boilerplate there. And then let's walk through this test case and kind of see what's going on. So a grandparent is the parent of its parent. So for this two and seven, its grandparent is six. For this one and three, its grandparent is six. Uh, for this nine, its grandparent is seven, etc. So basically we want to get the sum of nodes that have even valued grandparents. So uh, in this case, uh, they made it easy for us. And the ones that are red are the ones that have even valued grandparents. And that is the case because if you look two and seven, their grandparent is six, that's even. So then we sum two and seven and then one and three and then five. So that's kind of how we're going for it. And keep in mind, the grandparent is the parent of the parent and that will show evidently in the way that we do this solution. So how we're gonna do this is we want to set up a helper function. We're gonna do this recursively just using DFS. Um, we want to use a recursive function and we want to, as we recurse, store the parent and the grandparent. So how we're gonna do that actually is we're just gonna call this uh, DFS and we're gonna have a current root, a current parent, and a current grandparent. And then this is actually going to be what gives us our answer. So let's return DFS root null null. So why I put in null here is because at the very beginning, we're starting at the root and this is six. And that root doesn't have a parent and it doesn't have a grandparent. So these are gonna be null by default. And as we recurse through, we'll update these. We'll find, does it have a valid grandparent? Is that grandparent even? And then we add the nodes value if so. So our first base case here is we want to check uh, if root is equal to null because then we just want to stop. So we're going to actually just return zero there because we don't want to sum anything further. So that's our first base case. Now, our second case that we have to check for is remember, we have to check is the grandparent valid because there are some cases where it doesn't have a valid grandparent yet. Is it valid and is it even? So let's check for that. So if grandparent is not equal to null, and grandparent dot val, so it's value, is it even? So if these conditions meet, we know that we can account for this root dot value, but we can't just return root dot val like that. We cannot do that because we wanna keep searching the left and right subtrees. So actually what we want to do is let's uh, keep a result variable here and then we know that we can return it down here. And then let's add to this result variable, the current value. So basically, does it have a grandparent? Is the grandparent even? Good, let's add this current nodes value to the running sum. That's how you can read this. And then besides res, we actually want to go ahead and keep recursing. So we wanna search the left subtree and here's where it gets tricky, but it's very simple. So we're going to the left. So this current node becomes the parent and this current node's parent becomes the grandparent. So that is how you represent that. And then we also want to do that. Uh, we also want to do the same exact thing uh, with the right subtree. So let's go ahead and do that there like so. And then let's just run this and see what happens because I think we have all the logic we need. And there we go. So let's submit this and there we go. Yeah, so this is a very easy recursive way to do this. If you wanted to do it iteratively, you could use BFS, you could use DFS. It really doesn't matter how you do it. I just wanted to do it this way because I think it's very easy to explain it. So as always, thank you for watching. I appreciate it.